What's up, metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. And if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Today we're going to take a look at a really cool knife. This is a mean looking knife to me, man. The thing just looks wicked. I love the look of this knife. This is the Dam Designs Fenrir. F-E-N-R-I-R. -E I think I'm pronouncing that right. This one here is in 14C28N, and the original price on this knife was like $125. Um, they are now making them in 154CM, and they're like $130 now. Uh, I, if you use my code BEDC10, Bravo Echo Delta Charlie 10, you can get 10% off of my White Mountain Knives and get this knife down close to, uh, you know, just over $100, 100, 110 to 120 depending on the variation. Then there are some more budget-friendly versions that are not titanium that are uh, g10 and uh, they're even less like 80 dollars so um let's uh, go over the specs on this one real quick man is that not a mean looking knife man it just looks looks mean to me i love the look of this one all right overall length is 7.95 inches blade length three and a half inches uh weight is cannot be what they're claiming it to be they're claiming this knife is seven ounces we're going to check that because i don't believe that's true I also do not have a blade stock thickness. We're going to check that also. I'm going to say it's probably 160 thousandths. Be my guess. Let's check the blade stock first. It's pretty thick. Oops. 150 thousandths. And I'm going to say the weight's probably 5 ounces. I don't believe it's 7 ounces. I'm probably wrong. It probably is 7 ounces. Five and a half, five point four ounces. Yeah, I don't know where White Mountain Knives get seven point zero four ounces from, but that is not accurate. So just over five, five point four ounces, just under five and a half. Yeah, it's the same knife. Yeah, I don't know. It does have reversible pocket clip and it's tip up only. It has a nice uh, filler tab there. Uh, everything is titanium. Yeah, for the price, these are these are fan fantastic knives for the price. I've had a few damn designs in hand. They've all had fantastic action. Great detent. This knife is so good. You don't, you know, it's flipper only, but you can just reverse flick it so easy, man. With the stonewash finish on this blade, you get plenty of traction. And it's, the action's so good, it's very easy to reverse flick without a fuller. Super easy. Probably one of the easiest ever, actually. It may be the easiest one I've ever done. Super good. Detent is really good. This knife is one of those that would be great for EDC because of the blade shape, all your normal task, opening packages or whatnot, but would also serve well in a self-defense situation. Uh, it gives me vibes of the knife that we're going to use as a size comparison, just the blade shape basically, and that is the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Almost identical in size. It's a little bit longer than the Ojimbo 2, probably eighth of an inch. Quite a bit thicker, especially in the middle here. Um, it is uh, kind of thick. A lot of that adds to the weight. So over half an inch thick at the thickest spot, 0.55. Um, but it makes it feel really good in hand with the way these scales. It's flat down the middle and it kind of chamfers the edges down it's not quite it's contoured but not like rounded contoured you know what i mean it's done with angles but makes it extremely comfortable in hand let's see what else we can do here for a size comparison how about the dimco ad 20.5 quite a bit longer than the 20.5 how about the uh, urban edc f 5.5 yeah it's a lot longer than that uh, how about a Benchmade bug out? Um, let's do the uh, Variant PE2 by Kvist Blade Works. Here's the QSP Penguin. Here's the Benchmade Mini Freak. Uh, 
what else we got here people may recognize how about the spider coat spidey chef almost identical in length to the spidey chef and we'll go ahead and do the benchmade 940 again almost identical in length those two are very similar in size so although with thickness the uh, Fenrir is quite a bit thicker than both it's a beefy filling knife it feels very uh substantial in hand not in a bad way though it feels like it's made extremely well it has good weight to it um you know with this tip you're going to want to be kind of careful with it you don't have you know it's not very thick out there in the tip as you can see so if you drop it you're going to bend it or break it but as far as a package opener you're not going to get much better than this man push cuts would be great you know you can get right out here pinch grip it and get down do detail cuts very easily the uh you have great access to the liner here and then with the uh jimping done on the top of it or the edge of it there very easy to get to very comfortable buttery smooth it is recessed so and you only have a liner on on the lock side the show side is milled out a lot in there. there's a lot of milling on the inside to keep the weight down a little bit more Everything's all titanium too, man. You could do some amazing uh, anodizing with this knife, with the way the pivot's done and the, uh, the filler tab for the clip. Yeah, yeah, you could make this thing look amazing. I like the way they did the lanyard in the back. It's kind of hidden, you know. There's a little hole there through the back spacer, so you can stick a, you know, piece of whatever you're using as a lanyard down in there and loop it in but if you don't like lanyards you don't have a hole going through your knife i love the way they did that and designed that i think that's really good yeah it's a cool knife man this is probably my favorite uh damn designs as far as looks wise if it were mine i'd 100 percent delete the flipper you could even put a hole in this blade you could do a spidey hole or some thumb studs but you don't need them you don't even need anything it's so good you can just flick it right out there easily i think i can probably flick it with my thumb without a, f a hole or fuller now yeah with a little wrist action i, I can it's kind of awkward to do it with your thumb but man with the re reverse flick it's fantastic drop shutty as can be makes some great sounds too yeah i like this knife a lot it's a good one i think it's a good looker it feels good in hand it's a heavier knife so if you like a heavier knife Something a little more beefy. This will serve you well. Just you got to be aware of that tip with this one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one.